Hi everyone, it's me, Pim. Uh, this is a new series. We are playing the OG Diablo. Um, last time I finished a Skyrim Let's Play, I ended up playing Diablo 2. So now that I've finished another one, I feel like I should uh, keep the um, pattern alive with uh, some original Diablo. It's a good, it's a good game. It's a short game, and it's a nice palate cleanser. So. Um, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I've already created our new hit. This was my my previous character, Groovus. Um, I, I played and beat this game, I don't know, about a year ago or so, so I'm somewhat familiar with it. More familiar with it than I was with Diablo 2 when I did that series. But we're actually playing as a character named Marcus. Um, for those of you who have watched the Diablo 2 Let's Play, you'll know that I roleplay this game lightly. There's not much roleplay in the Diablo series. Not many roleplay options, anyway. But I try to do what I can. <clears throat> For that series, you'll remember that um, Lucius was our main character. He was a paladin. And he came back to the Tristram area looking for a warrior friend of his who had come to Tristram some years before and vanquished some great evil and then had not been heard of since. That character was our character in this game, Marcus. I don't think I've ever listened to the menu music this, <laughs> this far in. I've never heard that organ before um so here we are this is it this is the start of marcus's adventure here in tristram now why did he come here well i happen to know that diablo 3 which i played some of i didn't beat it because i didn't really care for it that much uh, but i happen to know that they kind of retcon things in diablo 3 so that this character is actually king leoric's son but we're not playing it that way we're playing it as if diablo 3 didn't exist so this guy is just a, he's a warrior he and uh, Lucius were shield companions for a long time. He came here to do his own thing. And um, he's only heard that there's some weird shit going on. The king's made, made a call for adventurers to come and help. Kind of fellow drinking peace? I don't know who you are. Let's talk to you. If I was you, and I ain't, but if I was, I'd sell all that stuff you got. I got nothing. Get out of here. That boy out there, he's always got something good. But you gotta give him some gold, or he won't even show you what he's got. I don't know who that boy is. But that tells me there's somebody outside of the town. Let's we'll walk around the whole space and see what we can discover here. Looks like we're not gonna be able to cross the stream. Auto map available in town. I'm just reacquainting myself with all the keys here. Um, I'm using a face cam this time. I didn't in Diablo 2. Cows! Uh, because I didn't have a face cam. Oh, look, there is a bridge. I didn't have a face cam at the time. Doesn't seem really like this is such a role-playing game that if my face is in the camera it's gonna or in the screen it's gonna break your immersion so it's just like what the hell let's do it face cam i sense a soul in search of answers yes i'm sorry who are you there is much about the future we cannot see but when it comes it will be the children who wield it the boy word has a blackness upon his soul. Word. But okay. he poses no threat to the town or its people. His secretive dealings with the urchins and unspoken guilds of nearby towns gain him access to many devices that cannot be easily found in Tristram. While his methods may be reproachful, Word can provide assistance for your battle against the encroaching darkness. Okay, I'll remember that when I talk to Wirt. <clears throat> Let's just see what you have. Mana, mana, town portal, rejuvenation. Um, I have 100 gold, so I can't afford any of this. And of course, the scroll wheel doesn't work. A bunch of spells. Staff of Swiftness. Well, as a warrior, we're probably not going to make much use of her as a vendor. Let's just get a look around here. Um, oh, there was a bridge here. How did I not see that? The uh, soundtrack, of course, is very good. Matt Ullman, I believe, is the composer. Fantastic soundtrack. <clears throat> In fact, I think 
I would say that this game and maybe one or two others were the first games that I played where I was like, wow, music in this game alone is good, like standalone good. Oh, hello. Who's this? Good day. Good day. How may I serve you? I'm just here to talk. Ogden and his wife have taken me and my grandmother into their home, and have even let me earn a few gold pieces by working at the inn. I owe so much to them, and hope one day to leave this place and help them start a grand hotel in the east. Oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. This doesn't seem like the kind of place from which you graduate to a grand hotel. What ails you, my friend? Hi. Griswold knows as much about the art of war as I do about the art of healing. He is a shrewd merchant, but his work is second to none. Oh, I suppose that may be because he's the only blacksmith left here. Second to none because he's the only one. I got it. Okay. Receive healing. That's something to remember. Potion healing. Potion full healing. Rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. Healing. 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 Scroll. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Um, yeah, this is the Diablo, the version of Diablo that's available on GOG Galaxy, which I think means that it's the Hellfire version. I, I haven't really played Hellfire at all. I'm not even hello, sure what the hell friend. it does. Oh, it's the Town Elder, who we don't know yet, but his name is Deckard Kane. Hi, who are you? The witch, Adria, is an anomaly here in Tristram. She arrived shortly after the cathedral was desecrated, while most everyone else was fleeing. She had a small hut constructed at the edge of town, seemingly overnight, okay. and has access to many strange and arcane artifacts and tomes of knowledge that even I have never seen before. Interesting. I don't know why I should be impressed that even you haven't seen them before, because I don't know anything about you, but okay. Well, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? Your weapons and armor will show the signs of your struggles against the darkness. If you bring them to me, with a bit of work and a hot forge, I can restore them to top fighting form. Uh, Griswold, of course, has uh, what Americans think of as a Scottish accent. I'm kind of wondering if that's supposed to be like a Scotty from Star Trek kind of thing, given that he's the one doing all the repairs and stuff like that. I wouldn't know, just wondering. Okay, <clears throat> bunch of shit I can't afford. Wait, hang on a second. I can't afford all this. Let me see, um... To repair items here. Let me see what I actually... Oh, God. I have a club for some reason and a hundred gold. Alright. Well, Griswold, we actually have some... Dealing to do. Sell that stupid club. Um, buy basic items. Did I have a helmet? I've forgotten already. I don't think I do. I was kind of hoping he'd have some kind of... Sure, rags is better than nothing. Whoops. Sorry, everyone. That was my, dry <laughs> my dryer going off in the background. So much for the immersion. Hang on, I've already forgotten what the hell is in, in the inventory here. Do not have a helmet. Good. Okay. Well, what I do I have do a shield, you? though. These are identical for some reason. He has two of them. Okie doke. That, I think, will help us quite a bit. What the hell is this? Thank goodness you returned. Much has changed since you returned. Here, my friend. All was peaceful until oh. the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves. Or worse, the church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. My God! Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Okay. 
Thank you, Ogden the Tavern Owner. Um, I will get right on that. It's Gillian. I've already talked to her. Gillian, Gillian, something like that. Um, that's our first quest, I guess. I've forgotten that the character was apparently from Tristram, which doesn't make any sense because you're wandering around this town not knowing a damn thing about anything or anybody. So it makes sense Over that you makes sense that you don't know anything. Like I think my role play of this guy being from somewhere else makes sense. This guy being Marcus. <laughs> Wirt. In case you haven't noticed, I don't buy anything from Tristram. I am an Tristram. <laughs> Do you want a pebble of junk? You'll have to see Griswold, Pepin, or that witch Adria. I'm sure they'll snap up whatever you can bring them. Okie doke. Um, what do you... I have something for sale, but it'll cost 50 gold just to take a look. Uh, no, that's not worth it, dude, given that my gold amount is 75. Whoops. Right, okay. Yeah, can you guys... Yeah, you can see that, right? My head's not in the way of that. The skill... You can't see the inventory or the spells thing here, but... Just getting a look. I don't know a damn thing about a damn thing. Ugh. Okay, that doesn't work. Quit doing that. Alright, Wirt. Peg-legged boy. I wish you... Nothing, because I don't know you. Okay. Uh, what, do, what the hell? You cannot fit through here? Alright, fine. There's one way in and one way out. Well, for lack of anything else to do in this shithole town that I've never been to before, despite people thinking me thinking that I'm from here, let's find the church. My God! Please listen to me, the Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. The Butcher. Avengers, find this butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. I will avenge you. I, I take it he died, he's slain. Yes, he's slain now. Your death will be avenged. Marcus has a voice, everyone. Um, small point, not not huge, but I always loved, even as a little kid when I played this, the light coming out of the church. That's really cool. Let's see the graveyard over here just getting a look around before we go in you know you always want to know the know your escape routes know uh, what you're dealing with don't want any surprises hello looks like it might be another way in but it's gated oh, and there are the cows all right nothing else to do then to, but to head into the church and see if there are any other townsfolk we might save before it's too late we all know how this is going to go. <laughs> the sanctity of this place has been fouled. Yes, by me just now when I robbed the sarcophagus. It's uh, kind of funny. Okay, so we've got our mini-map. That's kind of all I know. Key-wise. Ah! Skeletons! And whatever that was, I don't know, I didn't even see what that was that I killed. Hmm. It's very dark down here, I'm realizing. Fallen one, that's what they're called. Oop. Don't get past me. So, I like in Diablo 2 how if you click on an enemy, you can just hold down the mouse button and your character will attack over and over again until that monster is dead. Here, it doesn't do that. I have to like click each time I want an attack to be made. The other thing that kind of stinks is there's no... Um, like in Diablo 2, you can press Alt and it will highlight everything that you can activate or pick up. And that's there's no button for that here, so... We're just kind of out of luck. Zombie! As 
far as uh, getting around in these dungeons, I don't really have much of a si system. It's kind of just go one direction until you can't anymore and then retreat. So what was that thing called? Scavenger or something? Fallen one again. <laughs> yeah, the sounds are funny. Cap. All right, let's check this out really quick. We got a cap, which apparently we need to identify before we can wear. And a mace, which is, yeah, we should be able to wear that, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, red, I'm used to red being you can't use this. This one we can't use because it's not identified. Um, yes, yeah, so did I say palette cleanser? This is a palette cleanser, this game. So is Diablo 2. I'm probably going to constantly be saying to, like, oh, I wish I could do this like I can in Diablo 2. Like with the uh, alt key and stuff like that. Because Diablo 2 is literally one of my favorite games. I'm not very good at it. It's one of my favorites of all time. <laughs> I killed that skeleton like I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> Scavenger, yeah, okay. Okay, he's giving me an ass kicking. Um, before we go too far this way, we should probably go. Whoop, hang on a second. Scavenger. Go check that other door. Hey, our first level. I don't think I'm gonna want to keep any of this stuff. I think it's all crap. That would look cool, but doesn't really fit my character. Um. Back when I played Diablo 2, I very foolishly, perhaps, um, picked up everything I could and carried it back to town, despite it not being worth very much. And then, of course, people told me, like, dude, what are you doing? Like, don't do that. And I ended up stopping <laughs> doing it eventually. But even now, when people watch the uh, series, when, when new people find it, when they watch it, sometime in the first three or four episodes, They'll leave a comment like, dude, why are you bringing everything back to town? And I'm always like, ah, you know, I, I do stop doing that eventually. Just bear, bear with me. Okay, how about three there, one there, one there. Damage two to six. Chance to hit 60%. Armor class 11. Hmm, not very good. Our quests are the butcher. Please, listen. Right. We get the map. And the menu. Oh. Oh, I still have another point. There, I guess. How did I... I didn't do my math correctly. Alright, I was gonna... Oh, wait, hang on. This is the end of this way. I was gonna say, let's go back before we get too far, because... One never knows. I like how I hold that sword. Look at that. I don't think that's a very good technique. But it looks fancy. It looks flashy. It looks confident. I like it. Hello. We have a shrine of some kind. Fountain, I guess. Tears. Don't know what that did. I wish that they would tell you. Oh. Can I use the scroll of identifying? On that? Bronze Mace of Magic. Damage 1 to 8. 19 of 32 durability, chance to hit plus 3, plus 4 to magic, required strength 16, which I have more than enough. 1 to 8 versus 2 to 6. I'll take it. Nope, don't hit the escape button. It doesn't get you what you want. See what's behind door number two. Oh, that skeleton was dual wielding axes. That was cool. I don't think I've noticed. What <laughs> are they all dual wielding axes? It's kind of crazy. 
Uh, so, of course, those of you who have played this game before will know there are... Um, oh, I picked up the cape. I don't know if I even want the cape. We'll see. Um, 16 levels to this game. It goes by pretty quick, which is one of the reasons why I'm... why I picked it. Um, can't imagine this will take more than a few weeks playing this game. Uh, I mean, playing it won't. Up, up, uploading it, I think, would take a few weeks. I think when I played it recently, <clears throat> I beat the game in like eight hours or so, eight and a half hours. If you're not familiar with this game, well, then I consider you at a disadvantage because this game is pretty good. It's not as good as Diablo 2. Diablo 2 improves on uh, things in the original Diablo. But, in terms of what it did when it came out, it was kind of the best game of its kind. Blizzard had some really kick-ass games there in the mid-90s. Um, between this game, StarCraft, Warcraft 1 and 2, uh, Diablo 2, of course. Really good. And then World of Warcraft happened, and basically they kind of acted like no other games existed in the world. Which is fine. They make their money, I guess. I really haven't followed Blizzard since World of Warcraft started. I never played World of Warcraft. It didn't interest me that much. MMOs aren't really my thing, but I'm trying to think. Um, that that skeleton was also dual wielding axes. Have they released? Has Blizzard released any other single player games or maybe multiplayer games that weren't MMOs besides StarCraft II since World of Warcraft was created? I don't think that they have. Or if they have, I'm not familiar with it. This is a little bit of a horde here. But we're not taking too much damage, so if we took any, I don't even know. And we're one-hitting these dudes, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm not criticizing Blizzard. I'm just kind of lamenting that there for uh, four, five, six years they released some really awesome games. And then... Once World of Warcraft was a thing, they, they stopped doing that. I do remember... Ooh, ouch. I do remember there was a um, rumored... I believe they were actually in development. A rumored single-player game for the StarCraft universe where you... I think it was called Ghost? Where you played a ghost. Uh, you know, the actual, like, character class. Not character class. What would you call it? Um, I guess character class from the Terran campaign. Um, and I remember reading about it and thinking like, oh, this sounds awesome. Like there were gonna be, like if you hit a fire bat, uh, if you shot a fire bat in like the correct spot on its back, the tank on its back would explode. And like, I was like, oh man, this game's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. And then they just stopped making it. And that was the end of that. Never another word about it. I was bummed out. And that's kind of, I think that's when Warcraft 3 came out, right about then. And World of Warcraft shortly after that, and then that was it. Blizzard just stopped being a company that I cared about. Where's that, where's the damn gold? I can't, there it is. Yeah, the highlight pickups is so nice, and I miss it. I think there are mods for Diablo. I know there are for Diablo 2. Ah, good. I was going to use a potion, but we leveled. There are for two. Uh, I've never played with any of them. And I don't know if there are for one or not, but if there are, I haven't played with them either. Damn it. Did it again. But I'd be curious if you could just mod <clears throat> yourself a highlight button. That'd be nice.
trying to keep the map off when we're in combat so you guys can actually see what's going on. But it's not a huge uh, effort on my part. I don't know if I'm going to be successful most of the time. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, that was trapped. Yeah, kill the thing, man. Okay. So far, so good. Whoop! Zombie. Ooh! Surprise! Buckler. I think that's a magic buckler? Not identified. Well, uh... Oh, I thought I picked up another one at some point. Oh, I guess it was an Inferno. Yeah, drop both of these, honestly. And probably that one, too. I think... Oh, nope, never mind. I was going to say I think that does it for this level, but we have this other door over here. Yeah, so 16 levels, four in each map type. So there's four here in the cathedral. There's four in, like, a cave version. There's four in some other thing. And then there's four in, like, a hell, like, a full-on hell scenario. Um, and they go pretty quickly, I think. I kind of, I don't know, as I have gotten older, I appreciate short games more and more. I'm not saying this game is short necessarily, but it does go by pretty quickly. Uh, what? <laughs> what, I think that's a good thing, I don't know. Hey, everybody! Skeleton party! Skeleton party! Missing a lot there. Whoop. Book of Charged Bolt. Okay. Gold. Cloak. Sure, I'll just pick up everything for now because I can't really tell if it's good or not. Skeleton Tome. Scroll of Healing. And I think... That's level one. Looks that way. Now let's see if I can't just untabbing. Yes, that recenters it. Good. Well, we don't have a reason to go back to town yet. We don't have a scroll of town portal, so we can't. Whoops, wait a minute. The only way we could go back would be to go up the stairs, which wouldn't be a huge hassle. But we're gonna do this. We're gonna go down a level anyway. Level three? Second level? I think we're good. Oh, wait! I do have a scroll of Identify. It's down here in my thingamajig. Shield of Sturdiness. Armor 3. High durability. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my rags are gone! I think because they were damaged to the point where they didn't recover. And I didn't even notice. Um... Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, what the hell, I'll take that. Huh. Well, now... I think maybe I should go back to town, because I was a dope and didn't notice that my... Here, put that on. Didn't notice that my rags got destroyed. It's fine. It'll work out. This cloak will... Whoa! Okay. This cloak will be great. Nope, 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 Better go to town. Whew. Nasty down there in level two. <laughs> Yeesh.